Welcome back to Book View Now and our coverage of the Miami Book Fair. I'm Jeffrey Brown with the PBS NewsHour. And I'm joined now by Chip Kidd, author of Only What's Necessary, Charles M. Schultz and the Art of Peanuts. Welcome. Thank you. You win the award for heaviest book of yes. the festival, yeah. first of all. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Why Charles Schultz? Oh, I've just been a huge fan since I was, since I was a kid. It was one of my first uh, senses that I was actually reading a, a real book, you know, from like age three or four. You know, you felt old... it was a real book even then. I mean, in it's Could... not a not a comics. It's not a correct. Yeah, yeah. It. I mean, in retrospect, at the time, you know, you're three or four. But in retrospect, the the sense of depth and narrative really seemed to be there in a way. That it certainly wasn't in, you know, other comic strips. Explain that. I mean, why, why, why did he have it? What did he have that others didn't have? Uh, because he, you know, he was quote a loser. Uh, there's so much in the strip that's about longing and about mm -hmm. things that you want and will probably never be able to get, um, and that sort of ran counter to most children's literature, if you want to call it that, at, at, at the time. So, mm -hmm. so there, there, there was a sense of melancholy and, and sadness that I, certainly I could relate to, and I think certainly millions of other people as well. And did you keep reading him forever, or did you rediscover him later on? Both. Yeah? The, the, rediscover is a really, really good word, and yeah. especially putting this book together, because I remember there were certain strips or passages as a kid that I thought were really boring or that I didn't understand. Like, like can you give me an example? Yes. Yeah. So uh, I think it's Snoopy is looking at a leaf that's falling, and it's falling, and it's falling, and then it hits the ground. And then the final panel is something like, nobody's ever, you know, content to be just where they are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you think, as a kid, you're like, well, that's not very funny. <laughs> and then, and then when you're older, you sort of look at it and you think, what, you know, what insight this person had to put that into something like a daily comic strip, which yeah. is usually just supposed to be a gag. You know, I wonder, because Peanuts is so familiar in so many ways to right. so many people, mm -hmm. and taken as, uh, you know, we'd all just sort of read it quickly and move on. I wonder, was it sometimes taken for granted? Oh, well, I don't know if I would say taken for granted. I think there's, there's so many different facets of it that um, I think, you know, there, I think there's a huge part of the audience that just looks at the characters or looks at Snoopy and think, oh, they're so adorable, mm -hmm. that's so cute. Right. Um, which they are, but I think um, for fans like myself who like really read it and, and there, there's, there, there's so much more to it than that, mm -hmm. uh, that, that frankly, um, you know, it's not, a, it's not about being cute, it's about sort of like having a soul. <laughs> yeah. Um, so all of those, I mean, the, whether it's the football being taken away or the, uh, I mean, you countless acts of sort of things and people not getting what mm -hmm. they want, right. or striving, that's the melancholy you're talking about, the kind of de depth to it. Well, yeah, but there's also, also um, a, a real intelligence. Like, I remember uh, I first encountered the, the term neurotic yeah. as a noun. In, in Peanuts, and, and Lucy's listening to a record, yeah. and it's uh, Kiss the Girls and Made Them Cry, uh, and uh, then, he, then he runs away, and, and she's like, well, what an erotic he must have been. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I remember I either went to my mom or looked in the dictionary to see what, what is an erotic? Mm -hmm. I mean, I was probably five or six. <laughs> Uh, s stuff like that, yeah. uh, you know, way, bef way before I ever encountered, you know, Woody Allen. Yeah, and then, but also way before you encountered Charles Schultz and started learning about him, right? Uh, you yes. said he was a, you said he was a loser. 
Well, Char- no, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Okay. Although I'm sorry. that you know, it's it depends on how deep you want to go. I, yeah. Yes, as a as a child, uh, Ch- Charles Schultz often felt like a loner. He it was one of those classic cases of he was almost too smart for his own good, and he was so he was advanced a grade in elementary school, mm-hmm. which sort of meant that he was the youngest, the smallest, the most, in his mind, the most insignificant. Mm-hmm. So that's where, that's where all of that comes what from. What about the art of, of Peanuts? Because this also connects to your day job, right? Right. Well, it's, As it, a designer. It, and, uh, yeah. uh, Schultz said, you know, a good ca- cartoon character is a cartoon character who's very well designed. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's just deceptively simple, you know. Uh, we all think we can, you know, well, I can draw, I can at least draw Charlie Brown. And right. then when you sit and try and do it, you realize that, that you don't get the proportions quite right or that you don't have the, quite the technique to get the, the, the sort of line quality mm-hmm. that, that he did. And he worked really hard to make it look easy. Yeah. What about the challenges for you in designing a book about someone who is such a, with such a kind of brilliant design sense himself? Well, the challenge, the challenge is that I'm such a fan, and so I want to really do right by him. Yeah. Uh, the, there's this enormous achievement. There's this huge career. I mean, really, what this book is. Um, I mean, there's so many peanuts books out there, yeah. uh, but I think what makes this one unique is that it's really, it's about the art itself, the technique of the art, but also me basically being given free reign in w- what is now the Charles Schultz Archive in, mm-hmm. in the museum in Santa Rosa, California, uh, to assess this, this enormous body of work and then try to present it in a way that you too are in the vault in the archive and that you're literally like paging through um, these, you know, artifacts of, of his drawings. Let me just ask you finally in our last minute, I, I referred to your day job designing <laughs> books. Do you see an influence from people like Schultz? Absolutely. You do? Yeah. How does it come in? Well, because the book cover, and this is, I think, a, a good example of this book, um, a book cover is a, a distillation of the text inside in, in my mind, in, you know, a, a single hopefully memorable evocative image and it it and that is that's what he did he mm-hmm. took these particular personalities and he reduced them to their most essential parts while maintaining you know their inner lives that's what you see yourself doing trying i try <laughs> all right chip kids book is only what's necessary charles m schultz and the art of peanuts thanks so much thank you